On this particular page, you can see that there are multiple options. These options will allow you to do different things. For instance, if I click on this, I can rename this if I'd like, and I can also move it to a folder. We have another video that shows you how to manage your Loom folders so that in your Loom videos so that they stay organized. The other option is download. Your downloading can download this to your hard drive and then you can take it anywhere you want. This includes your Google Drive, it includes um, Schoology as a file, or anywhere else you'd like to put it. If you have a YouTube page, you could do that as well. When I select download, it's going to download this file and you're going to see it pop over here as a download. So it downloads as an MP4 file and from there I can take it into my Google Drive and I'm just going to drag this in. So now this file went from Loom to my Google Drive where I can now embed it into different things. So that is the easiest way but you can also just copy this link if you press copy link, you can paste that link anywhere. You can also use the share to get a copy link or embed code. The embed code's great for something like Schoology and I believe we have a video coming out on that. So you have many different options including when you use the link, you also can add a password to this. You can also have custom access. This is only people that will be able to sign in. This is not recommended for students if you want students to access this. The other is down here you have some settings. You can turn on these different settings as well as a call to action is a really nice feature. So at the end of the video now that call to action, if they click that button, it'll take them to Google. So that's just a nice feature that if you're sharing via Loom, you can embed those things. But as soon as you download it, that gets taken away. So those are just some of the different features and some of the ways that you can share this. In another video, we're going to look at how you can embed this into Schoology and Google Classroom.